Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to another conversation by One Diva. It's another beautiful Saturday and um, we would be looking at a topic for new moms, balancing motherhood and other responsibilities as a new mom. So please, let's tell our friends, sisters, that we are live. One Diva Global Community is a community that helps women as in people to see themselves even as God sees them. We help people, we build people, we help people to, to see what they are called to do. You know, we help people in terms of knowing their purpose, having clarity and all. So if you would like to join, you can actually click the link in the bar. And um, I'm very sure that our social media manager would um, be able to guide you in what to do. Thank you so much for joining again. And we will be looking at balancing motherhood and responsibilities as a welcome for me. So good to have you here. So um, we'll be starting right away. Like I said earlier, we are going to be talking about mom. For me, uh, I would say that I think um, being a first time mom, then I think that was in 2017. It was not. It was something I was not actually prepared for. You know, they won't tell you so many things. People will just say, ah, you know, when you're pregnant, people will say congratulations and all. And when you give back to your baby, people are happy for you. There's this joy. But for me, I remember that when I gave back, I saw it as something that was actually stressful. You know, you won't be able to, you won't have your own time again. During the day, somebody's sharing your time with you. At night, you won't be able to sleep where a lot of, you know, a lot of things going on, you know, you have visitors, you have people around, people disturbing and all. It can actually be really stressful as a new mom. Even as a second time mom, it can be stressful. So today we want to, we would like um, people in the, people that have joined, if you'd like to, if you'd like to um, contribute or share any of your experience or share any of your experience would love it you can actually share in the chat box i think the network is not allowing me accept okay. Okay. Yes. can you hear me please yes i can hear you okay great now, because of our time, so we start. I want to and do as a new mom. When you want, when you are proud to be a mom, you know, you already know that, okay, well, this is my PDB days. Everybody knows when you are and when the baby is actually coming, probably the time frame. One of the things that we should do is identify and identify essential things. You, you identify the 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 the, the, the relevant task. You don't just do everything, you know. You are you just get back now and you are the one washing the clothes, you are the one washing the plate, you are the one cleaning, you are the one carrying the baby. You shouldn't be doing that. You focus on high priority tasks, things that you know that nobody can do for you. You know, there are some things that people can, may not be able to do for us. Like maybe painting. Even painting. People bait new ones. They, they, they are still there in the best way. You know, you can, you can delegate that, ah, uh, uh, let my body go to the bedroom and I'm inside you. That one may not be possible. So you can do that by yourself. But there are some things that you should be able to delegate. Ask other people to do it. You should prioritize things that you can do by yourself. Like baby, the baby, if somebody can actually do that for you, allow people to do that for you. You can actually choose the baby clothes by yourself. You know, you know, you make a combination of what you want the baby to put on. Other people may not know it, so you bring that. You can bring the clothing out. You can bring the baby stuff out. You know, all the things that the baby needs for that day. You can actually bring them out and arrange. That that is not actually stressful, and it can only be done a night before. 
a day before the previous day. Things that the baby is used to wear. Just tell somebody, okay, these are the things that my baby food. These are the things we need. For you to even express breast milk as well. To avoid being stressed or over the night. You know, as new mom, doing features is just a normal thing for some people. And you can actually stay off that. You, you, you may not necessarily be somebody that will hold VG every day. Somebody like you now, my babies don't cry at night like that. So I don't really hold VG. I don't understand when people are saying, ah, I didn't see what you night, so we are always sleeping. <laughs> what people do now is that they express breast milk and they ask the, the carer or the grandma to treat that baby at night so you can actually have your own sleep. So you can actually prioritize that when you are getting baby food. Prioritize buying uh, breast milk. Prioritize buying uh, baby um, breast bags. You know those ziplock bags that you can prioritize that by getting them instead of just I, I know food is very to share, so you can actually share you know, you can use it in you know, balancing your possibility and other things because you, you, you are not in this world only for your baby, you are, you are actually doing other things before you get there, and some of us actually want to continue those things so I would love you to actually share all right thank you so much thank you so much for I'm, I'm so pleased and so excited that we are discussing this topic um because it's, it's this topic actually cannot be overemphasized we we can talk about it over and over again and it's still not enough uh mother is the thing of joy and we need to enjoy that moment we need to we need to enjoy it as much as possible and try to strike a balance between and your personal life and having um giving birth to a, a child for the very first time it can be overwhelming it can be draining you know and you need you need that support system you need to put structures and systems in place it is very very important um for us to have a particular structure have out for a routine what works best for you what works for mother mother A might not work for mother B and their babies, you know. So cover out what works best for you, for you and your child. Um, create schedules. So in the morning, I wake up, I do this, I pray, I read my Bible. Oh, before the baby wakes up, um, I've already pumped enough for the baby. And my mother is there to support me. My nanny is there to support me. That you can always ask for help. And the first time more, you can't do it alone. It's, you can't even do life alone. You can't do life alone. <laughs> so I would always encourage new, um, first time moms, new moms to always ask for help. Apply wisdom. Wisdom is profitable to direct. You can't do it all. You can't do it all. You just be a shadow of yourself at the end of the day. <laughs> so try as much as possible to ask for help, put in that structure in place, and also create time for yourself. Create yourself for yourself. Okay. Um, try as much as possible to have out that time so maybe when your baby is with your mom for instance or maybe your mother-in-law is the one that is there to support you at that time um use them you, you utilize that moment all right talk in that moment as much as possible go to the spa you know do something different um, take a walk or just enjoy that that season of your life right um try as much as possible to also have um a great community um like-minded people who have been there before you they can actually and hold you into that season of your life um nobody knows it all like i said so it's a great time to always you know um ask for help in communities just like um, a great community like wandiva <laughs> you can ask for help to help you through that season speak up uh, because if you don't speak up we wouldn't know what what is wrong with you where you need um assistance from where you need help from so always ask for help as much as possible communicate how you feel with your spouse um your spouse can also be that support system right in cases where um, people don't have their mother-in-law 
is not alive or maybe their own mothers are not alive your spouse can give you that support that you need um it's just about communication right i hear yeah. people when they say oh, my spouse is not um is not cooperating is not helpful exactly you don't ask for it if you ask for help ask and then you get that feedback whether he or he will be able to help you or not even if he's not going to help you maybe willing to pay for the nanny to come and render that services so it's still part of he helping you indirectly you see but if you don't ask you will not know <laughs> you will never know right so when, when i had my first child right i didn't know what to do thank god for my mom that she was there and she was still alive she was there to help me and hold me tell me what to do how to go about it when my baby wakes up at night she already knows that she's the one that's going to <laughs> attend to the baby for that period and in the morning she she wakes up later and then i am awake to take over from her so so you can't ever emphasize on this on this topic you need support you need support you need Yes, yes, you need that support. The problem is that sometimes you just feel we are super women. You know, we can do all things. You know, you just feel it. Yeah, I can do it. I can do that. I have power. You don't actually want to do that. You can actually make use of the power of her. Asking people for help. And people mm -hmm. are just giving. When you just give birth and you are asking your family members for help, especially when you tell anybody that you are asking help for, you are just asking for support. For help. Because. People can even come around. They can come around in the morning, you know, carry your baby for you. People can even help you to sleep. That was what my siblings did for me when I gave back. I even came in 2017 as a part-time mom because I had a lot of support around me, and it was actually easy for me. I was not actually stressed. My only job was to feed the baby, sleep, sit down, wake up, sleep all the time. But you know, you see some people who just gave birth, when you see them in the next two months or three months, they are looking way older than they are old. Exactly. And it's not they are doing it all alone. You know, there are some people that they just do it all alone. They are not even asking help from their child. And I say, ah, this is my child, mm -hmm. and he's not doing anything. Have you actually had that person for help? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I actually share with you that. When they first got my she was the one doing everything. I wanted to watch, she started crying. And the guy said, ah, have you ever asked me for help? And I said, no. The guy oh, was oh. Like, I thought she should do it now. The guy said, ah, I've always seen you as a super person. You're always up and doing, doing everything. So I felt you have power. You are, you are energetic. So sometimes we need to behave like women. But we need help. You know, we are, we are there to actually help, help the man, like the Bible has actually said. So, ask for help. You mm -hmm. should be doing everything alone. Another thing that I really want to share is, um, you know, we need to set realistic goals. You know what we need to do, right? They say, ah, the next six weeks, my tummy should be flat. I don't want to put things in. They say, ah, why are you thinking? Why is it fat? And you start setting goals that are realistic. That, mm. ah, by the next six weeks, I should be sideways back. Ah. You know, the women just need to, you need to just, one thing that we need to do, like like you said, is join the community. If you are trying to join the community, like, um, there was one community I joined, the baby center. You know, you see a lot of women that you, you get back to the same time. They will share their experience. And it's always reality. Not somebody that probably gave back maybe five, five years ago, and you don't know even how the status of the person is. And by the time they are giving birth, after four or five weeks, you see them and you are wondering that you just gave birth or you don't give birth before. There are some people that are like that. They are very, very, very good. But they are told that I live a category that is maybe after you have dressed, you have weaned your baby, that you go back to shape. Some people are like that. For me now, after winning my baby, that I go back to my normal size. You can actually to the start start a weight loss journey. You see some people that they say starting a weight loss journey at six weeks for session. That's actually wrong. It's not realistic. You don't set an unrealistic goals just because uh, uh, people say now nah, you are big. You should be your tummy should be flat now. Your this, your that, your uh, uh, we need to set realistic goals for ourselves. Even if you said let your career go for that year and don't be there, 
You don't need to be hard on yourself. You just have a baby. And you just want to do it. You don't need to be hard on yourself. If you can actually do it, do it. If you cannot, you can leave them. And by the time you adjust, and I'm very sure that by, by the time your baby is three months, you'll be able to adjust a bit. Don't say, ah, I've not been achieving the goals I've written since um, so, 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 so. What am I doing? You don't need to be, you don't just need to be like that. So you need to set goals that are realistic, even as a new mom. Because you must calculate that, oh, I have a new baby, and the baby is not going to take care of that. Mm -hmm. This time from when you are single, when you don't have a baby, when you don't have a child, because now you are thinking of another, another person. You are thinking of, oh, when the baby is crying, you just need to do what you are doing and touching the baby. When, 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 you need, when the baby needs food, you need to attend to the baby. When the baby needs, maybe you need, you need to take your body, the baby's breath. You just need to be there. So we need to set goals that are realistic, that based on our season, even as a new mom. So I really want to share another thing for our audience. So as a new mom, what should they what can they do as well? What can they do to balance motherhood and other responsibilities? All right, so another tip um that I would like to share is um flexibility, right? I try as much as possible to embrace flexibility in your daily schedule. Um, so it's not a casting stone um, that I must do this at 9 a.m. or maybe at 12 noon or at 3 p.m. You can actually be flexible about it. The most important thing is to get things done for that day. Get, get the major things done. And also um, leverage more on technology. Can you still hear me? I think the yes, next I hear you. All right, so leverage more on technology as well um, to help you manage your time effectively, to be well organized. You know. So, you know, I mentioned systems and structures. So, you can leverage more on applications, um, technologies that could help you to be able to um, have a smooth ride as a new mom. Um, also, I would also want to add another tip about quality um, over quantity. Right. What do I mean by that? Um, it is important for us to always um, prioritize meaningful interactions um, and also to strengthen um, what's it called our bond, right, with the family. You can't, you can't get that time back again. So when, when a baby is born, for example, right, um, and they, are, they, are, they start growing up at that age, um, it's like a hope, an open book, right? So whatever you lay into them, whatever you teach them, whatever you instill into them stays with them forever. Even if there will be peer pressure, there will be so many things that will come in along the line as you are growing up. That you are laid as they grow up. Right, and I, I'm actually a testament to that as well because there has been some very key foundations that has been laid in my life while growing up, and I'm still instilling that into my children at this age because it, it's part of me already. So it's it's a time for you to bond with your family, create that quality time with your family, bond with your children as much as possible. You can win at home and also win as a as a career woman as well. With, with structure into your life, it is doable. Trust me, it is it is doable. You just need to prioritize the most important things that needs to be done, and the least important things should not be. Um, don't waste your time on least important things that are not necessary. That are not necessary. Social media has been um, <laughs> has had both the positive and negative impact on people, right? Because. Yes, people use it for several other means, but it could also be a major distraction. It could also be a major distraction that we are not able to achieve what we need to do um, when we are, when we need to do them. So try as much as possible to have out, create that quality time with your family um, to enjoy that moment. As they are growing, you can't get that time back. All right. So while while you might need to pause your career at that point in time. When they are much older, then you can pick up your career. It's never late. They don't. There's no competition about when you 
um, acquire certain certifications. The most important thing is to win if you are at both sides, right? We, you can win at home and also win as a career woman. So there's nothing wrong in putting your career on hold while you just had a baby. You just had a baby. I mean, so it's a major, it's a major milestone in everybody's life. So yes, that that would be my additional thing. <laughs> For Kenya, actually the app, the app is actually needed. I know that baby center used to have an app that will even tell you your baby's milestone, what your baby should be doing at this time and all that. Instead of asking people, you know people can actually be funny at times. They say, ah, this child should be sitting by now, or where are you? Your child is <laughs> You know people now, ah, how old is your child? You think of one. Ah, this child should be sitting without support. How will this child be sitting with support? <laughs> but when you go to check um, baby center half, you see that the baby is supposed to start at that first form. No, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be sitting at, you know? So after, I can stand up for technology. So we should leverage technology as she has shared. Make use of tech. Read. Read online. Read people's story. As in, because we can actually learn from people. Read stories about new moms. What did they do? Which um, actually people that are relocated, you know, mm. in Nigeria now you can easily seek support in Nigeria. Your family member can easily come. But people that are relocated to UK, I remember the old oh, man today. She located, she went to the place to give birth, and she looked at was a single, a single lady that knows nothing about childbirth. Wow! And she was able, she was doing everything. So people like that would be able to learn great technology. You know, most of us, nobody wants to work except you pay. And the money is actually on the high side. People have told me. And I think she was able to escape to before coming over. So you can actually make use of technology. Yes. She asked for help. You know, like, you can actually do it. Another thing I would like to say is text here. You know, when, we, when people do that, people put on the baby. Oh, fine. Yeah, people, yeah. Don't, so people don't even remember the mom. That, ah, I, I, is the mom. They say, ah, is the baby. Ah, is the baby sleeping where? Well? They will not even ask the mom. That, ah, I is the mom. How are you? Are you sleeping? Some people will not remember to ask. Is that baby that they are asking? So if they are not asking about you, you ask yourself, oh, my God. Am I okay? Paradise yourself first. <laughs> we are here for the baby. <laughs> and the baby still needs you. So even when they are not saying, I'll give you the money, ask yourself, I'll give you the money. Mm -hmm. If you can't move, order food. If you cannot put the food. Probably because uh, maybe a lot of things, no help and all that, are supposed to pay. Order for food if you have the money. Maybe, mm -hmm. if, you, if you have capacity to pay somebody, to make money. Like, you know, uh, my sister shared of a couple. She said, because they didn't have anybody to come and stay with them, the girl's mother was sick. The um, guy's mom too said they can't she can't leave her house just because of the of, the, of her own husband. <laughs> so she can't come and stay with them. So what the guy did was that they stopped their pizza with food, different kinds of food. So they just wait for the guy who just want the food. The lady will be the one to bait the baby. And after making the baby, so I have to just eat and sleep. I don't want to clean the house for them. And that's all. So I think we need to prioritize ourselves that you can't just do it. Focus on yourself. If people are not focusing on you, focus on yourself too. Yeah, Ask yourself, am I fine? Am I okay? Am I giving away? I don't know how to do it. And another thing I would like to share before we do is learn to say no. People don't mm. know how to say no. True. You don't want to say no. Somebody is inviting for a wedding. Ah, you must attend my wedding. You must be at my event. You must do this. You must do that. Let me say, ah, I want you to come. Because it's actually stressful taking care of it. It's possible that you can sleep all over the night. And somebody says you still come bring the food to our event to open the event. If you can't come, say no. Learn to say no. People, even if they are angry, they will think of you. Mm -hmm. If you explain to them, they will understand. So, true. we will recognize our limits. Know, mm -hmm. know what you can do. And what, what can you do are not mobile. It's not easy carrying baby all over. You know, you have a three months old baby, you are not mobile. Well, you don't even have money for Uber. So you have the uh, entry 
down for you have to take five down for or three down for the place. It's ready for you, and the fact that you are getting on the evening, you know, even the baby, that's because of the stress that the child has gone through. So we should learn to say no. We should avoid overcommitting to prevent burnout. Even to short activity. You have to do for baby. And you are going for one thing together. No, you need to say no to some things. Especially things that can wait. If there are if there are there are things that can wait, please say no. Then later you can actually come back to it. Mm -hmm. So do mm -hmm. you have any other tips you would like to share before we say go to my All right. Thank you. Okay, so uh, one more thing I would just like to share is um nobody will love you as much as you do right so please um be physically present in your in your in your in your family's life right i can't write my eyes on that be mentally present as well and then be emotionally present as well all right because you know people that might actually spend time with their family but they are not there they are, they are there physically <laughs> but they are not really there <laughs> so please um you can buy back that time it's, it's a very uh, valuable time or season of one's life so please love yourself love yourself nobody will love you more than you love yourself so please take good care of yourself um look good don't say because you just um, gave birth oh i'm going to be you, you turn yourself to an old woman at home no <laughs> look good dress well put on your makeup right do your hair if you have to put on wig stay natural whichever one that you know suits you just look good be you right be you and enjoy that moment enjoy that season with your with your baby yeah <laughs> that's that's uh, my thank you, yeah. thank you. That's the final word, actually. enjoy that face enjoy yourself enjoy your baby it's not a thing you know, by the time you're 12 months, you're no longer a new mom again. <laughs> so enjoy that phase, enjoy that season, ask for help, ask for help, you can't live in isolation. Ask for help from older people, then actually make, you can actually make you do your friend as well. Ask questions. And then, um, and again, um, if you need to seek um, medical help as well, go just as soon and stay as soon. Yeah. Seek medical help. Look it to the pediatrician. You know, there are a lot of groups. Probably you can look at that later. You know, there are a lot of groups that people talk about when you just give birth. They say, I oh, don't eat this, don't eat that. And those are the things that are very nutritious. Ah, don't eat that. Girl. Don't eat this snail. It's possible to be very weak. You need to do that. You get. So I think um, if you feel that people are saying too many, too much. And you can actually say too much and you'll get overwhelmed. Seek the professional help. Ask questions from them. And I'm very sure they will help you out. So thank you so much for joining today's conversation. And if you have questions, finally, if you have questions, you can actually put it in the comment section. We are going to answer it before we leave. So if you have questions, you can actually drop it. Um, another one will be coming up next week, Friday, same time, 5 p.m. We really apologize for starting late today. We hope that you actually enjoy the session. So we want to read for you actually. So you can drop your contribution in the comment section. Thank you so much. And thanks so much to me for joining. Thank you. Thanks for joining and for sharing insightful and related experience. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye.